Welcome to Green Builder Media's Scottsdale Revision House Project. I'm Steve Easley. I'm a building science consultant. Today we're going to talk about fresh air ventilation systems. Now, balanced controlled fresh air ventilation is really a key component to every healthy home. We want to have good indoor air quality and that's dependent upon uh, fresh air for one. Secondly, um, there are basically three ventilation strategies that we have to ventilate homes. We have positive pressure system, which is simply a fan that forces air into the home. And the problem with that is, is that it puts the home under a positive pressure. And that means that if we have warm, humid air in the winter months, that's gonna force that warm, humid air into the colder wall cavities where it can condense and lead to mold and decay. Uh, the second type of system that we have is what we call a negative pressure system. And that's where we simply have a, a exhaust fan, like a bathroom fan that's designed to run continuously. But the problem with that is it puts the home under negative pressure. And uh, that's problematic in the summer months in hot, humid climates because it sucks that hot, humid air uh, into the wall systems where it can dampen building materials and lead to mold and decay. So that's not good. Another thing is with negative pressure systems, we never really know where that air is coming from. So it might be coming from places that the air is not quite so fresh, like a crawl space or a basement, an attic, or even um, a garage. So what we want to have is a balanced ventilation system. We want to have a system like this ERV. And balanced systems basically mean that um, the same amount of air that's being brought into the home is being exhausted out of the home. So the home's never under a positive or negative pressure. So when they talk about ERVs or HRVs, which are heat recovery ventilators, ERVs are energy recovery ventilators, we're talking about you know, devices that have the ability to provide balanced ventilation as well as heat or energy recovery. Now you might be asking, how do we size these systems? Well, there is a national ventilation standard, and that's ASHRAE 62.2. Now, that's been around for almost 20 years. So this ventilation standard gives us guidance about how to size the system for our home. In other words, how many cubic feet of air of intermittent or continuous ventilation do we need? And so um, the, we can size these systems based on the formulas from ASHRAE, or we could use an algorithm or a computer program based on those formulas, or we could simply go to the ASHRAE 62.2 ventilation chart. And so, for example, if we have a 2,500 square foot house um, that um, has three bedrooms, um, that would require um, 120 CFM of continuous ventilation from the outdoors. Now that air is not conditioned. Remember, we have to heat and cool that. So over the course of an hour, if we multiply that 120 cubic feet of air per minute times 60 minutes in an hour, that is 7,200 cubic feet of air every hour of unconditioned air that's coming into my house. I gotta pay to reheat and cool that. So over the course of three hours for that 2,500 square foot house, guess what? I'm gonna have to reheat and cool that air all the time. So that's why we'd like the ERVs, because ERVs have the capability to recover that energy. Now I selected this Brone unit, um, and part of the reason I did is because it's 75% efficient. In other words, it's going to recover 75% of that energy. It has the central core, and so what happens is when the outdoor air comes into the unit, it passes over the stale air going out, and they exchange their energy, so we recover 75% of the energy we use to pay to heat and cool our home. So that means we have good ventilation at the same same time, it's also affordable. Now, the other reason I selected this Brone uh, AI unit was because it has a, some really smart technology built into it. In other words, um, when you set these systems up, um, you typically have to spend a lot of time fiddling and balancing them. But this is self-balancing. It's got a brain that automatically regulates the dampers and so forth, so it can self-balance. Um, and so it's much easier to set up. Another cool feature of it is, is that in the course of its life, during its operation, it self-balances in, in every mode. So what that basically means is, is that um, if I have, say, like a dirty filter or some pressure changes in the system, this will automatically rebalance itself so our home's never under a positive or a negative pressure. Another thing I really like about this Brone unit is its uh, ability to control it in a variety of different circumstances. It's a really smart machine. I mean, it has the ability to monitor uh, indoor humidity, outdoor temperatures and automatically uh, regulate itself. It's got a whole variety of different control scenarios. So for example, if I'm cooking, I can turn on turbo mode and it will exhaust maybe humidity and other things out of the air quicker. Um, it has a recirculation mode. So if I just want to filter the air and not bring air in from the outside, it has the capability to do that. It can run intermittently. It's just got a lot of different control options that I can have. So I can really have this fresh air ventilation system suited to my specific needs of my own home. 
Another feature that I love about this is that it's really easy to install. They've got a lot of different mounting scenarios and brackets and assemblies that make this super fast and easy to mount. And then also, it's really cool that we have up to a MERV 13 filter. So a MERV 13 filter basically can filter up to 90% efficiency particles between 1 and 3 microns. Now a micron is a millionth of a meter. There are 25,000 microns to an inch. And what we're really concerned about today is PM 2.5. Those are particles that are less than 2.5 microns. And the reason we're concerned about this is that these particles basically come from vehicle exhaust. And so they have the ability to go deep into your lung tissue and uh, cause significant respiratory issues as well as even cardiovascular disease. Disease. So there's real concerns about being able to filter your air down to um, those levels. So that's another thing I like about it. So key here is a, a ERV is a must to building a high-performance, energy-efficient home that has good indoor air quality.